ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at here is a flat water conveyor for items and maybe mobs as well. It is completely flat and it does convey items without limit. Now as far as I know this hasn't been done before. I've seen one other flat item conveyor but that's dug into the ground so it's in the channel and also it requires the use of uh, half steps, half blocks and uh, signs and other things to constrain the flow of water. As you can see here the water is completely unconstrained. It's just flowing by itself like that, joining one into the other and pushing the items along. It's also very efficient in terms of materials. Only, the only thing that's needed is these three blocks for every segment of the water. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, yes, yeah, seven. So for every seven blocks it travels horizontally, you need three blocks as a wall, you know, so that the items don't fall off the conveyor. So yeah, that's it. I'll show you how to build it. I'll first demolish what I have here. Obviously this wall here is not necessary, it's only here uh, so that if I make a mistake I don't wash out all my torches outside. So uh, we'll remove that. I've put down the dirt so I can you know, tell where to put the things. But obviously, you don't need to do that. You just need a flat piece of ground. Um, you can start from either end, it doesn't matter which way you start from. So you can build each segment wherever you want. So firstly, of course, we lay back down the three blocks that were there. So one, two, three. And you have to dig the six blocks here. Now we do this because if water is close to somewhere where it can flow downwards, it will flow in that direction. So when I place the water here, it will flow into there and nowhere else. Now if I didn't have this, or if if the you know if the descent is too far away, the water would just go over the place, right? And wash out my torch. So we by digging this little hole here, we direct the water towards it and only towards it. And then we fill it up again, starting from the back, moving forward making sure that this block is the last to be filled in. And by doing this, we make sure that the water continues to flow this way. And that's it. You just repeat the thing for as long as you need. Three blocks. Six. And then we get some water. Put it down here, and we'll only flow in that direction. And once again, we fill it from the back towards the front. Oh, and this the system is not constrained by the southwest rule, whereas the other flat conveyor that exists, as far as I know, does. So as you, you can see, the moon is rising in there. That's east, and that's north. Right, so this was flowing north, and this was pushing towards the northeast, so definitely not the southwest. And there's absolutely no problem with that. And that's all there is. Like, it, it seems so simple once you figure it out. All you have to do is to 
use this particular quirk of water to make it flow in the exact direction you want it to. You want it to flow in one direction and then to have it go di diagonally to push it that way. Now this is a straight piece of conveyor and uh, obviously you can make it turn 90 degrees for example if you wanted to turn that way you just take the, the six blocks here and the three wall here and then have the water flow the other way and it'll go that way um, the one issue that I can see is that I think you're constrained to using segments that are seven blocks long because the water has to flow that far right like you, you can't make it stop before that unless you use some um, reeds or, or half blocks or signs or steps otherwise the water will you know it, it definitely flows that far and you can't make it stop earlier so you, you're constrained to using the seven block segments unless you use the other tricks but aside from that it's a conveyor system that's completely flat and very minimalist um, another constraint is that you have to be able to dig these six blocks and so it will probably not be feasible right above the uh, bedrock right above the um, yeah you know because you can't dig the bedrock so you won't be able to make these holes sometimes so you have to be one more block above the bedrock but aside from that it's completely flat and it works perfectly oops didn't mean to do that but the reason for like you might think well why do we need six blocks here why can't we just make it four or even two well if it lands on this side the item it needs that much distance for it to be pushed all the way to that block there you know if there's only two then it'll start here and then it'll fall off this end here and it won't reach the next source block so that's why it needs to be that big you can make it bigger I guess to be safer but I think any smaller than than six is uh, problematic so that's it I just figured that out this thing out just now and I thought I'd share it with everyone that's all I got for this video. See you later.